Uh, hey everyone, so today I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on how to install, install a program called Exodus. Um, if you're familiar with Genesis, then it's the same developer who's made it. He stopped developing Genesis and he's uh, launched this, pro this plugin called Exodus, which has the same type of feel and, and, and so far it's been working great. Uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how to install that. The easiest way to do that is with the Fusion add-on. So to start, we I'll show you how to do that. So to start, we'll go to File Manager. I have all this installed already. Um, you'll want to go to Add Source. And in this box, all you have to do is type in HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot TV add-ons dot AG. Hit Done. And in the name, I typically name this Fusion with a period in front so it shows up on top. I'm just going to hit cancel because I've already got it installed. So the next step from that, now that we've got that installed, is you want to install the few actual Fusion add-ons. So to do that we go to settings and then add-ons. From here we install from zip file and you'll see Fusion in the list here. You want to go to the folder start here and you'll see plugin.program.addon installer. So you just hit enter on that or OK and it will install. Again, I've already have already got that installed, so I'm not going to do it. So to install Exodus, I'm going to very quickly show you. You'll go into programs and I'm already there, so I'll just back out to show you where it would be. So when you enter programs, you'll either be at this screen here, or you may even end up with a program add-on screen. So you just want to go into program add-ons. Then you're going to want to go into the add-on installer. Um, choose featured add-ons. And in there is a huge list of other add-ons that you can install. Uh, I've done a bunch of tutorials on them, but this one's for Exodus. So we just hit Exodus. You want to choose install. You'll get this notice. Just simply choose install and it'll take you through a couple couple things here to install it and you'll eventually get a notice here saying it's been installed click OK alright so now that that's installed we'll show you what it's all about so to use it you just go to videos you go over to add-ons and here's a bunch of the add-ons I have installed so Exodus as you can see, it's very familiar to, to people that have used Genesis. There's movies, TV shows. Um, same thing, if you go into TV shows, you can search by people watching, most popular, and whatnot. Um, I'm going to take it a step further here and show you how to use Real Debrid with Exodus. If you're unfamiliar with, with what Real Debrid is, uh, you may want to check out my other tutorial on it. Uh, it's basically a premium streaming service uh, that will kind of speed up all the speed up some sources and give you some better options when it comes to streaming. Uh, highly recommended. It's dirt cheap. It's well worth it. Uh, to get it installed in Exodus, we just go to Tools. So from here, we want to go into Settings Accounts. Click Enter. Uh, at the top here, you'll see General Playbook Providers Accounts. You want to scroll over to Accounts, and from there, you want to scroll down until you see real to Brid, and then should be giving this authorization option. So you want to hit enter and you should be giving there we go. You should be given uh, visit this URL and then you should be given an authorization code as well. So what we want to do here is go to a web browser. It doesn't have to be on this device. It can be on your phone. It can be on a separate computer, anything. So just write down this authorization code and move on to the browser. All right, so from here I've entered in, I went into my web browser, real drbidcom slash device. I've entered in the authorization code that was given to me from Cody. So I simply just hit continue. And slowly but surely, will be given to come to this screen. The, the application would like to uh, be able to unrestrict links, so we simply just hit allow. 
and you'll be given this option lambda add-on application allowed you can close this page uh, at some point you may be asked to log in to your account so if you don't have one please register uh, and just go through the same process you'll notice though once you go back into Kodi the pop-up box probably has disappeared and you should be given this screen the same screen we were just at but you'll see in real to in the authorization now that it's been authorized so now we can just simply click full screen this simply click OK and now we can back out of here and now we can just go into movies for example uh, let's go into people watching and let's try the latest James Bond so it will take a little while my internet's not the fastest um, but what you'll see is it will do the same thing even if you don't have Real to Brid uh, it works the same way but the nice thing about Real to Brid is the sources are just uh, a lot faster because they're not they're more private than a lot of the other ones on there so in this list you'll see a huge uh, sort bunch of sources available with the real to bread so I'm not going to open it up you can test it out but uh, from there that's all you need to do to use Exodus and install real to bread in it hope you enjoy